Brown. Derek may try and find her trunk for the face at the start of the touch to open up the round. Eric Croden with the hands. Just gets the lead out the way. There's a front kick from the midsection, and as far as that pinches are up against the cage. Herrick now has got one underhook. Drops down, looking for a double leg. Kick down again. What can Herrick do from here? He's just ready to jump, stuck at the bow triangle. Can see a single left foot behind the knee. No. And inside the close guard ends up Carla Rispata. Nice work from Carla. Great position. She kept fighting. She didn't give up at all. She fought herself right back. She had the traditional wrestling scrambling ability that got her back on top. Carla, a wrestler, Jiu Jitsu stylist, has also done a lot of Muay Thai. A two month camp in preparation for tonight, and so far it is showing. I doubt her husband, Roller, watching back home, is enjoying this one. Opens up the guard momentarily here, that's police. This is very early to be on your back against Carla Esparza. The girl who knows how to keep you on the ground. And you know, Carla is a nasty little lady. She'll go to work and hit the timer whenever she gets the opportunity and try and bust it wide open. Looks the pass here, but still inside the guard. This is a great job of keeping that keeping Carla inside the guard. She battles back every single time. She automatically brings her feet, starts fluttering back in. But then once she's here, you notice know her legs are dead. She's not really doing anything with her legs. She's tightening them up, but she's got to do some away pressure and towards her pressure to get Carla moving off her body so she can get off the back. Tries the legs up for a nice high close guard now. Police Herrick not allowing Carla to posture up and work any ground and pound. Also, locking up the left wrist here of Carla. Oh, a nice knee to the huge speed there from Carla Esparza. Tries to look up again here, looking for an omoplata, uh, good look partner, I should say. Oh, wow. well, she's looking for an omoplata on that left elbow, left shoulder there, Frank. She's got position on both sides, but she has luck, so she able to get her feet up on either side. And Felice still has some tricks up her sleeve, tries to look up again, looking for that left arm now. Now, to add to the hematoma over the left eye, there's a small one beginning to grow. It's still in the embryonic state, though, over the right eye. Throws the legs up once more here, does Felice. And that's a nice way to control the posture. From here, she could sit up, turn this into an omoplata, a shoulder lock. Oh, <laughs> picks her up and plumps her in her back, baby, on that lower lumbar region. Strength of the tiny Carla Esparza. Under two minutes now, here on the second round. Police with one foot on hips. Throws him upstairs. High close guard once more. Locks down that right arm of Esparza. And as soon as you freed it up, Esparza, every little shot to the side of the head. There it is again. It is so good to see a high quality female mixed martial arts here on XFC between two highly skilled and highly marketable young ladies. Police throw the legs up, but starts to straight down on top of her. Look at the pass here. One minute fifteen. What does police do from this position, Frank? This isn't like she can see that her left leg caught across the head. She can come underneath and start pushing her way with her leg. Right now she's not using that active guard. She's keeping her guard in place. She can keep the space that not get past. No, but she's not doing anything with it. She's got to start getting a lot more action more. Let's see if police can land some strikes now. Carla throws the trunk into the fight. That's twice she's thrown, but it's usually the kick the kick of police Herrick. Stop. Police, this isn't going away. She's dancing this fight. She's battling for it. You can see her now wanting to keep out her feet a little more. This is a she's not falling over to one side with the weight of that hematoma. It's huge. Oh, right hand down the tube from police. With your little lethargic going, it strikes here. There's a bit of a step behind them. Single leg transitions to a couple leg that was fast. Ends up on top. So he's gone now from Felice Harry. She's doing a great job, but once again, she, she could have given a pass, but she got herself back to full guard, and now she's not using her leg. She's got to use his leg to push away with her hamstrings, or use her leg to pull back in to get Carla's weight off her. This is a position we're probably going to grind on and keep it close enough.
Three's around, two down, and one remaining. Some slightly better displays there on the ground from Police Fury with one round remaining. The question is, what will Corinth's martial arts be saying to her to get her for the third round to try and turn the tide? What should she see? Once this foot comes all the way over, she reaches over the right side, but then she forces her left side over. As Carla turned to it, it's when her foot came over the face. It's almost a tricky, a tricky game she's doing with her legs down there. It's really good to be that kind of flexibility. And this is her best spot on her feet, but she's not here enough. She's letting Carly get inside too much. She's got to keep Carla off in this third round and look for a knockout. 10 9, 10 9 to a spar draft for two. She leads 2018. The general consensus here at St. Pete Times Forum was that Felice Perry would win a decision tonight. I asked. The leading lady of XXC, Mariana Kankitz, and also Jessica Aguilar. They both took three points. It'll be a police by decision. Right, second down. At the moment, it's Carla Rosalina taking control. Ready? Ready? Fight! Police has got to get her shots off now. She can afford to get taken down again. There's the front kick. That's hard to disturb it. Police looking for a takedown. Near. Spaza gets up and last little now off the right. Double leg here from Police Harry to no avail. Wow, that was really good defense. They shed her hands back. Carl was able to break her grip and get a hand back up around her waist. Double under hook here from Harry. Still can't affect the touchdown. Good knee from Harry, but there's a puck into the face. And both women trip back to center cage. Gasoline under the five out here of Felice Harry. So that runs will pass off a little. She's in for a single as far as up. If she wants you down, you're going down. And here it goes down. But this is nice work for Felice Harry. This is a great job of battling back to back. Keeps the pressure going, keeps rotating left and right. And now she stops moving. This is not a position for her to be laying it. She's got to get back to her feet. We need to see her if she wants to win this fight. She's got to get a knockout. Carl's just going to be content to hold her for the next three and a half minutes. Police Harry in the toughest fight she's been in yet. You know, blossoming career. Full time fighter. Sustains herself off a fight purse and a Great sponsorship. Carla Esparza. It's really going to make a name for herself tonight as she has done in her short career. High, high, close guard here from Police. Carla's a little bit of trouble. She's got to get her elbow on. And Harry Clark gets a mission. Esparza back lane. Esparza defended. Now she's back on top again. The weight work recently tries to get big before his fight's over. 
Felice may very well be asking her corner how much time remaining here. She drops an elbow to the lower left rib cage of Esposa. Felice locking up that right arm around the shoulder. Esposa can't get the right arm free to throw anything off it. All tied up like a pretzel. One minute five now remains. But neither woman able to do too much from here. Now the arm's free of Esposa. And Felice puts her inside half guard and puts her inside full guard and closes that guard. Controlling the posture here of Esparza. They did, they did. Right position, she's using her leg very well now. She's now pushing on the hip. She's going to leg up there pretty good. As soon as she get a tight up one of these arms, she's going to have a leg come off. Control it needs to keep her head either all the way up or all the way down. She's in a hovering position right now. She's right caught in the middle. This is the submission space. She's right in this little space here. Get your head all the way to chest. Move your head all the way up. Come on. Oh, Richery stands them up. Okay, this will be a final chance for Felice Harry to land a strike. A telling blow, perhaps. It's 20 seconds on the clock. Gets the right hand down the center corridor. Hard right round kick from Harry. There's a strike right hand between the eyes. They step up. Two big commissions in the middle of that fight. And as far as so top, so strong, she gets in here, steps over, just puts her knee on that leg, and just immediately starts throwing out a couple of elbows. Immediately starts looking to open up that head. Great spot by Pearl. She's very, very tenacious on top. We use her old fashioned traditional wrestling style to win these fights. And look at this submission. All she needs to do is cast this arm right here. She had a, a reverse side arm bar, but she could extend it out, but she lost the head. And Carla ended up getting back up on top again. What a great spot for both ladies. And both ladies really proved that women's mixed martial arts is here to stay for a while. We see more women doing this, so they're going to grow and expand even more. Felice Herrig in the final moments, getting off her that front kick to the face. Carla Esparza, a superb performance. 32 rounds given to her. Wherever you're watching, folks, on HBNet, how do you call the third round? If you give it to Felice Herrick, certainly it was the most impressive round. So thank you to everyone who's following us on Twitter, at HBNet Fights, at HBNet, and while you're at it, at Chevello Voice, at Frank Trigg. Felice Herrick, in the fight of her career so far, Carla Esparza, sublime performance. I like it when we do a split screen like this. Let's go up to Christopher Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of incredible action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this belt 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Carla! And